Quote number one, the soul that sees beauty may sometimes walk alone. This means that beholders who actually observe something beautiful are often found alone. The world may have a completely different point of view regarding different kinds of beauties in life. Very few people in the world actually have that real taste of beauty. For example, even in music, very few people actually listen to beautiful music. Different people have different kinds of taste when it comes to music but one example of a kind of beautiful music is classical. It has been noted in modern times that few people listen to classical music compared to other forms of popular music. This is because very few people actually have the ability to appreciate beautiful art. Furthermore, very few actually have the ability to distinguish between what is art and what is not. But one thing is certain that during the early ages social media was not there and people with similar taste were not able to connect with each other if they lived far away from each other. But today, the whole world is somewhat connected through social media. So there are different communities being formed through different Facebook groups, YouTube channels, Instagram pages etc. So all beauty lovers are somewhat connected and are not alone. Quote number two, the way you see people is the way you treat them, and the way you treat them is what they become. This means that the way in which people behave with other people around them is actually based on how they see the world around them. And somewhere down the line how you actually treat people determines what kinds of human beings they become in their life. It is often said that we are the sum total of all of our experiences in life. So we have actually become how we were treated in our life. There may be some people in the world we can relate to and we tend to become a lot comfortable in their company and some people we can't relate to where we have a certain sense of uncertainty. Quote number three, he is happiest, be he king or peasant, who finds peace in his home. This means that someone could be rich or poor but happiness is more linked to peace at home. That particular person will be happy at home with his or her family or might even enjoy one's own company. This kind of person does not need anyone in life to stay happy. There are no expectations of any sorts in this kind of person's mind whether they are linked to a person or circumstances. This is actually a kind of intelligence in which you know that you do not need a lot of things to stay happy. This kind of person is king at heart. He or she spends a lot of time with his or her family and enjoys his or her family's company a lot. There is little link between happiness and status. People who have a higher status are sometimes unhappy because of small things. Whereas people with a lower status know the art to stay happy no matter what level of difficulties they are facing. Quote number four, behavior is the mirror in which everyone shows their image. This means that the way you behave with others shows your reflection of what you really are in the world. Your actions and behavior actually show what you really are on the inside. There are a lot of times in our lives that our actions don't actually match what we really think on the inside. This is because we don't self-analyze too often in our life. Actions are the actual indicators of our own self inside of us. For example, if a person is really passionate about fitness, his or her body will actually be fit and healthy because he or she will be dedicated and committed to maintaining it consistently through exercise and diet. On the other hand, another person might be focused in thinking about fitness and healthy body but may not take the actions required. It does not matter so much what you think about someone or something but your actions matter a lot. Quote number five, thinking is more interesting than knowing, but less interesting than looking. Knowing about something actually means having information about something. Thinking is about understanding that piece of information and developing patterns between different pieces of information. Thinking is more interesting because every person makes different connections according to different pieces of information and a different brain. However, thinking is not actually possible without information. But looking or observation is something that is more significant than even thinking. Observation is actually about seeing reality as it is. For example, if we apply this quote to business, a business is about solving a particular problem. A business actually becomes interesting when you have a lot of information about it which encourages you to start it. To make it work, you have to think about different aspects of business and find solution to small problems which make up the whole business. This makes your business even more interesting. But in order to scale up the business, we need to observe our own business and how other people are doing business. 
it is actually about seeing big opportunities everywhere and that takes the business on another level altogether.